just came from on high. Please take your seats. We're about to begin our program. And you're very obedient. That's because I went to Catholic school. <laughs> because you went to Catholic school. <laughs> Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Oh, you can do better than that. Good morning. Good morning. And the preacher in me says, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And now I will go to the script. Good morning. Uh, I'm Tim Tudin, WBAL-TV education reporter, and your MC for this event for the blessing ceremony of the Mother Mary Lane Catholic School, the first Catholic school built in over 60 years. I want to thank all of you for joining us for this event today. It has been said that faith makes possible that which circumstances render un or implausible. That statement could not be more true as we stand here today. We started this as a vision of Archbishop William E. Laurie and Chancellor Jim Selinger to bring quality education and opportunity to young people in Baltimore City. This is now a reality. Make sure I got my scripts right here. Here we go. As education reporter for almost 34 years now, I've had the privilege of covering this event. I think the stage was over here last time. Uh, this was a great day back in uh, 2019. That was pre-pandemic. I saw firsthand the excitement that was here as construction began, as you drove by and says, look, something is coming important. And to transform an empty lot into the former site of the Lexington Terrace Complex, which I also remember, to what is now a beacon of hope and opportunity for the neighborhood. And now, almost two years later, I stand here again to witness the transformation. Can we just say, wow? wow. <laughs> it is truly an honor to celebrate this joyous occasion. And before we begin, I want to invite Sister Rita Michelle, the Superior General of the Oblate Sisters of Providence, the religious order founded by Mother Mary Lane, for whom this beautiful school is named in honor of to lead us in prayer. Sister. Good morning. Good morning. A little bit louder. Good morning. Good morning. Camden Yard is right down the street. We want them to hear us down there. Amen. Amen. What an amazing day for us to be able to participate in what I have come to call God's better plan. Amen? Amen. And if you want to know more about that later, I'll tell you the story. We, the Oblate Sisters of Providence, 
are especially proud and happy to witness the dedication of Mother Mary Lang Catholic School. Our foundress, Mother Mary Lang's commitment to Catholic education began over 192 years ago. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it Amen. as we bow our heads and lift our hearts to Almighty God. Good and gracious God, we gather together in praise and thanksgiving because of what has been accomplished by your will. We praise and thank you for the gift of faith and for keeping us in your providential care. We praise and thank you that you have allowed the making of a new Catholic school which bears the name of your servant, Mother Mary Lyne. We praise and thank you for the vision of Archbishop Laurie and all those who contributed in any way to the reality of this sacred institution of learning. We praise and thank you for the administration, the faculty and staff, and the families that will bring life and meaning to this new school. We praise and thank you in a special way for the children that will enter the doors of Mother Mary Lyon School. May their spiritual, intellectual, and emotional well-being be strengthened by all they learn and experience. Loving God, let this be a place where the laughter of children is heard and everyone will be treated with loving respect. May these holy grounds be a place of peace, offering refuge from chaos and doubt. Let all students who enter this shelter experience the freedom, calm, and safety necessary to learn, play, and explore. Send your Holy Spirit to lead and guide all who are responsible for molding and guiding the students in their knowledge of you and the world they will inherit. In the words of Mother Mary Lang, may these students do all they can for your honor and glory, and may they enter to learn and leave to serve. We offer this prayer in the name of the Father, our Creator, the Son, our Redeemer, and the Holy Spirit, our guide. Let everyone say amen. amen. Let the church say amen. amen. Now, I am a preacher, but I'm not going to preach. <laughs> I am the pastor of Harvest Christian Ministries in Baltimore County. So if something slips out, it's the preacher in me. Thank you, Sister Rita Michelle. Today would certainly not be possible if it were not for the determination and unwavering support of the Chancellor of Education of the Archdiocese of Baltimore. And what, what, what a nice guy. You know, Jim won't give you five, he'll just give you a hug. <laughs> Jim Selinger spent uh, countless hours uh, behind the scenes smiling, raising funds, uh, reviewing construction plans, securing permits, working tirelessly to make Mother Lane School a reality. Please put your hands together and join me in welcoming Mr. Jim Salinger. Thank you, Tim, and thank you, Sister Rita. And good morning. Good morning. Isn't there anything more beautiful and hopeful than a new Catholic school? Huh? Yeah. You know, when you stop and consider all that this educational institution represents, the promise that it offers, I can think of no place I'd rather be today than right here with all of you celebrating this historic day in our city and in this community. Our children deserve to have a better life, to achieve their dreams, and to feel safe, loved, and cared for as they untap their God-given potential. All children deserve access to the finest school with the latest technology and the most dedicated educators. And that's exactly what we have here at the Mother Mary Lang Catholic School. 
That is why 22 months ago, as, as Tim said, we gathered on this same lot uh, to break ground on what was envisioned to be a new beacon of hope and light for the heart of Baltimore City. In the example of the school's patroness, Mother Mary Lang, as Sister Rita comments, we envisioned a place where all children, regardless of creed, skin color, and socioeconomic status, could have the same opportunity to learn, to hope, to dream, and to achieve. At a time when many rightly search for answers to the challenges facing our city, we once again offer one solution that has proven to be the right answer time and time again. Education changes lives. It's a game changer, and investing in education of children is investing in our community, this community. It's been my profound honor to spearhead this product, project for Archbishop Lori, whose commitment to reaching this day never wavered. When some may have given him reasons why this day would never come, he worked harder and longer to ensure this day would indeed be a reality. I would like to personally thank him for his perseverance, his trust in me, and hard work, all of which is animated, is animated by the Catholic Church's commitment to the education of all children and his own personal love for the city of Baltimore. Let's give a round of applause for Archbishop Lori. So we've been working tirelessly toward this day for four plus years. And it is no exaggeration to say that we would not be here today without the support and encouragement of so many of you who are here as we bless, cut the ribbon, and ring the school bell for the first new Catholic elementary school to be built in the city of Baltimore in 60 years. In just a few minutes, as you tour this 65,000 square foot facility and campus, you will see firsthand that no care, thought, and yes, expense was spared in creating an outstanding learning environment for our students. I'm especially grateful to our architects and construction partners who worked with us on this extraordinary endeavor. The talented team of construction and project managed professionals built this school in 22 months during a pandemic. And it is ready, yes, it is ready, to welcome over 400 students on August 30th. <laughs> From the beginning, the location of this school in downtown Baltimore was a priority, representative of the church's commitment to the city, where it has been since 1789 but also to join with neighboring institutions affiliated with the University of Maryland Baltimore with whom we will partner in the education and well-being of our children by providing them a front row seat to the educational and career opportunities that are there for taking. So as I conclude my remarks, let me again express my sincere thanks for supporting us throughout this journey, four plus years, and for making, yes, our vision a reality. Thank you. Didn't you feel that breeze? That was the breath of God. It's not hot yet. Well, thank you, Jim. And now it's my great pleasure to welcome the leader of our state, Governor Larry Hogan. Your leadership and unyielding support for the children of Baltimore and Maryland is commendable. We are grateful to have you here with us to celebrate this important moment. Please welcome Maryland's 67th governor, my friend, Mr. Larry Hogan. Well, good morning. Good morning. Thank you, Tim. Uh, it's so great to be here on this beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, you know, I said to Archbishop Lori, uh, this looks a whole lot prettier than the Catholic school I went to in Prince George's <laughs> County, I can tell you that. But it's wonderful uh, to be here as we celebrate the completion of the Mother Mary Lang Catholic School, at, which was, as we mentioned earlier, the first new Catholic school in more than 60 years here in Baltimore City. It's just an incredible achievement. Uh, when uh, the Archdiocese of Baltimore broke ground on this facility uh, back in 2019 with a $24 million commitment uh, in the future of Baltimore City, Archbishop Lori, in a powerful piece 
in the Baltimore Sun uh, said that it was the children here in Baltimore who inspired this project. And he said that it is our sad, though unacceptable reality that so many young people in our city are prey to senseless violence and the cruelty of hopelessness. Archbishop, I just want to take a moment to um, thank you personally for your incredible leadership and for your steadfast uh, leadership throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. Amazing to get all of this school built during that terrible time we all went through. And thank you for just working with us to try to help keep people safe and to reassure the community during this pandemic. Uh, like the Archbishop, I believe very strongly that every single child in Maryland deserves uh, access to a, a world-class education regardless of what neighborhood they happen to grow up in. And we're working toward that goal with historic record investments in education seven years in a row. And we fought to provide thousands of scholarships for deserving students to attend non-public schools. And today, I want to announce that we will also be directing another $39 million more in federal funding to provide additional relief for non-public schools to address some of the impacts of COVID-19. <laughs> Providing equitable access to education depends on the vision and the leadership of our community partners as well. And there's no better example of that than this beautiful new school named in honor of Mother Mary Lang, who was a visionary, who understood the life-changing power of a good education. The Archdiocese of Baltimore anticipates that tuition assistance will be offered for 80 to 90% of the student population here. It's just gonna be so wonderful to see those 400 kids here on their first day of school. Uh, this state-of-the-art facility includes a STEM suite, I can't wait to see it, a digital media center, uh, art and music rooms, athletic fields, and a new performance stage. And it is within these classrooms that deserving students will be given the skills and the opportunities that they need to reach their full potential. In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus tells us, his disciples, that uh, if they only had faith as small as a mustard seed, nothing would be impossible. For so many children here in Baltimore City, the Mother Mary Lang Catholic School will be that mustard seed, that seemingly small but powerful change that could make all the difference and result in unlimited possibilities for the future. I just want to sincerely thank the Archdiocese of Baltimore for giving that hope to so many young people here in Baltimore City. Thank you for choosing to invest in the future of this city and for working together with us to change Maryland for the better. So once again, congratulations to everyone who has been involved in this very exciting project. And now I'd uh, like to ask the Archbishop and the Chancellor and uh, Principal Jordan to please come forward so I can present them with a governor's citation in honor of this historic uh, time today. We got it. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. Yeah, the wind messed up my script. Let me back up for a second. All right. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see here. All right. Our governor shows up with, with the state's checkbook, huh? I mean, that's all right. Are you still writing, Governor? certainly want to thank uh, Governor Hogan, and I may as well say it, we have some history together. Uh, I discovered at his first uh, meeting that he was uh, some connection to Florida State University. And so I think we were there at the same time. Amen. <laughs> thank you. Well, I know, we, we, we're in Maryland, but yeah, we're, that's all we talk about is, is uh, I mean, education and the nose. Uh, well, at this time I want to introduce uh, certainly someone who's very important to schools. And I uh, recall during the 
heart of the pandemic that I would call up and need to get an interview. I've been in the back seat of my truck with with the uh, you know Zoom up, and I would always reach out to talk with either Jim or the superintendent. And she took time to speak with me. So we want to welcome the superintendent of the Department of the Catholic Schools, Dr. Donna Hargens. I am so honored to serve the students and families in the Catholic schools in the Archdiocese of Baltimore. When I came to Baltimore, many said, this couldn't be done. That's what I heard. But what I saw was Archbishop Lori and Jim Selinger with God's guidance and your generosity making it happen. The outside is beautiful. What will be even more beautiful will be what happens inside. Faith-filled Catholic educators using their God-given gifts, serving the mission of Jesus to provide students with a Christ-centered, academically excellent education. Thank you to the Principal Search Committee, which I know with the assistance of the Holy Spirit and Mother Mary Lang herself, for recommending as one of the finalists, Mrs. Alicia Jordan. <laughs> Mrs. Jordan is an experienced and devoted Catholic school principal. Once named, Mrs. Alicia Jordan started working immediately to identify and welcome the members of the Mother Mary Lang school family ensuring that every staff member, every parent, and every student knows that the work of learning will happen in the context of the charism of Mother Mary Lang. With gratitude, I present to you the principal of Mother Mary Lang Catholic School, Mrs. Alicia Jordan. Good morning! Yes, this is me on a normal day. First, thank you, Dr. Hargens. Greetings, Archbishop Lori, Mr. Selinger, Governor Hogan, and Mayor Scott, and of course, all of our distinguished guests. It is a pleasure and honor for me to stand here before you on this day, the day that the Lord has made, to welcome you to this brand new school. I remember standing on these grounds in August of last year standing at that gate, trying to remember or trying to think, what was this going to be? It was a shell. I could not visualize a building. But since then, wow. Look at it. Just look. This is our school. To see this all coming into being is miraculous. This building is simply beautiful, and I can't wait for all of my students to fill the halls on August 30th. And I repeat, all of my students. They are anxious and excited. We have been given tours since May, and I can tell you that the families are ready. They are ready for a new beginning. They are ready to be a part of history. Yes, I repeat, a part of history, because this is the first school, the first Catholic school being built in the city of Baltimore in over 60 years. Who would have ever thought that anyone would attempt to build a school during a pandemic? However, by the grace of God, we are standing here well and thrilled about the journey we are about to embark on. The students, the families, and this community are joining together as one. We are walking by faith on one accord because we are a family. So today, as you tour the building, you will see what all the fuss has been about. You will see all the thoughts, drawings, and images come to life. This school marks a beginning for the city of Baltimore. It is a symbol that education matters and that it is important that we continue to provide our students a place that is safe, secured, and rooted in academics so that we, when I repeat we, can continue to ignite the flames of our young people. Mother Mary Lane Catholic School will nurture the minds, bodies, spirits, and of and of all students. Mother Mary Lang is upon us. Her spirit will continue to live in the students, 
families, and faculty of the school. Thank you again, and I can't wait to see all your expressions as you walk through the building. So again, welcome, thank you, and God bless. I would like to now invite Jayla Golden, a rising eighth grade student. Jayla attended Holy Angels Catholic School and, that, and will now be part of the first graduating class of Mother Mary Lane Catholic School. Thank you, Principal Jordan. Hi, my name is Jayla Golder, and I will be attending Mother Mary Lane Catholic School as an incoming eighth grader. I can't believe just two years ago, I sat in the auditorium of Holy Angels as Mr. Sellinger presented us the plans for the new school. While watching the video of the plans, I became eager and excited to see the outcome. Then I was blessed with the opportunity to speak at the groundbreaking. During those remarks, I shared what I hoped the school would have and how it would impact not just me, but the whole community. And let me just say, wow, this school is amazing. <laughs> I look forward to spending time in the robotics lab, gym, and enjoying the other resources that the school has to offer. In May, I had the opportunity to come here with my classmates to a retreat for the rising 7th and 8th grade leaders of the school. Sister Rita Michelle and St. Francis Academy hosted the retreat. During our time together, I learned the saying, walking by faith, coming together as one. And I believe that it means when we further our faith together, we can grow as one in Christ. I know that I will be able to carry that saying as I grow and move forward with my Catholic education. I intend to follow in the footsteps of Mother Lang by leading others to do good and trying my best to stand up for those who aren't big enough to big enough to stand up for themselves. I hope to set an example for the other students of a Christ-like yet fun-filled life. Thank you, Archbishop Lori, Sister Rita Michelle, Dr. Hargens, Mr. Selinger, Principal Jordan, and all of you, our distinguished guests and state representatives who brought this school to reality for me, my sister, my friends, and Baltimore. Wow. Evening anchor woman. <laughs> Easy. Yes, yes. Let the church say amen. amen. You know, I keep hearing everything about faith, and, you know, we're supposed to be kind of cool on TV, but can I just say uh, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen? Is it, is it okay? All right, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I got my reverend license. <laughs> Thank you, Jayla. Your enthusiasm and excitement for attending the new Mary, Mother Mary Lane School is undeniable. I know you will be successful in your studies. I'm going to stop it every now and then and ask for you. We're like best friends now. Uh, please join me in giving Jayla a big round of applause. Our next speaker leads this great city, Mayor Brandon Scott, a forever champion for Baltimore, one who is focused on the future and particularly focused on the future of our children, especially with projects like this project, the Mother Mary Lane Catholic Schools. Please put your hands together for the 52nd mayor of Baltimore City, Mr. Brandon Scott. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. And as a child of Baltimore, I can now say that my life mission is complete. I've been introduced by Tim Tootin. <laughs> Normally, you grow up here in Baltimore, Tim's the guy uh, that tells you when you don't have to go to school when it snows. <laughs> Tim, we were expecting you to tell us today that there will be some cloud cover or rain. <laughs> but uh, I also will just say that everything uh, that I was going to say Jayla already said, and that we now know what investing in our young people looks like in, re in real life and in person. And Tim, 
I will also say for you, not a, a desk side reporter, but I think uh, WBL may have a new education reporter in their future. <laughs> I am so honored to be here today on this beautiful day that the Lord has made uh, to celebrate the opening of this wonderful new school right here in West Baltimore. Uh, I was here uh, right before the pandemic, Mr. Governor, as we were breaking the ground on this facility. And I, I told the Archbishop then, and I'll tell everyone else, for me, uh, this has a little bit of more personal. Uh, as a young man, Mr. Governor, as you know, I worked for my family's business putting in air conditioning and heating, and I actually, as a teenager, did it at the Lexington Terrace townhouses that we see. And remember, for us, Mr. Council President, Senator, Councilwoman, Councilman, what used to stand here when we were growing up here in Baltimore City. Uh, this is a true uh, mark of what transformation through the power of the Lord looks like. Uh, because if you would have asked me, when I was 13, 12, 10 years old, uh, that we would see a brand new school, Catholic school, built here on this site, I would have told you maybe that's not possible. But uh, as we heard earlier, uh, one thing that we know that Baltimore and all of us that love Baltimore show and prove again and again that in Baltimore, impossible is nothing. Everything is possible when we all come together. And it's a very humbling moment to stand here with you. Uh, this ceremony highlights and is a tangible reminder of our mission uh, to inspire a lifelong passion for learning and help our youth become the best version of themselves with integrity and responsibility at the core. Uh, grand opening ceremonies like this provide the opportunity to reflect on everything that it took to get to this point. We owe it, as you heard the governor say, to our students and all of our young people to provide environments that are conducive to learning and growth that includes 21st century school facilities like the one here behind us. Mr. Governor, I didn't go to Catholic school, uh, but I didn't go for a school that looked like this either. <laughs> I, did, I had my first air-conditioned classroom in ninth grade at Merville High School and was there doing renovation, which was not a pleasant thing. We all know that far too many young people uh, in Baltimore, across our state, and we are all working together to change that, don't have the opportunity to go to a school like Principal Jordan's students are about to attend. And that doesn't have to be, and we all have to work together to make sure that it doesn't continue in the future. Uh, that's why I'm so excited to be here today for the opening of the Mother Mary Lane School. It's not just another school. It's about uh, the vision that the Archbishop, that everyone has for their continued commitment to the community. And let me say thank you, Archbishop, not just for not wavering on this school, but for always continuing to believe and invest in Baltimore City and invest in areas and in people that many people are afraid to do so with. So thank you very much. But we also know that it takes equitable investments to not only produce structures like this, but also to ensure that students have the resources to attend. So I'm also extremely grateful to the Archdiocese uh, for their commitment to provide over $1 million in tuition assistance and grants to qualified students, which is such a crucial component of making sure uh, that young people from Baltimore, from the neighborhoods and the families that we know need to attend, will have the opportunity to do so. And all, we know this is a $24 million investment right here in Baltimore City. And most importantly, I look forward to coming back, interacting with our students, playing with our students, and making my staff mad that I'm going to be late to my next meeting. Because <laughs> nothing is more important to me than spending time with our young people, showing them the love, the care, and understanding that they are. They are the greatest resource that we have, and we have to continue to invest in them Thank you, everyone. Congratulations, and God bless. That's a cool mayor. Now, I, I want to let him know that back in the 70s, I had a fro. <laughs> it might be a little grayer now, but, I, you know, I, I follow him on Twitter. I threw up a 76 fro. He came back. I was like, yeah, yeah, that, that was it. I mean, if you didn't have a fro in the set, well, let me stick with the script. Uh, 
<laughs> certainly we're, we're, we're just thankful to have him. And, you know, I'd be serious when I'm out covering, uh, you know, people don't think that I know the mayor and governor. I said, I'm, I'm somebody. I know all of them. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're friends of mine. I also know Senator Hayes. And, and he's here. And he, if he watched me on TV, too, he has something you want to present today. Come on up, Senator. Good morning, everyone. How are you? I will be very brief because the sun is beaming on us. Praise the Lord. Uh, I have been here along this entire journey from the groundbreaking to just a couple of weeks ago, months ago, um, that Delegate Amprey and I toured the school. And so it's an awesome opportunity to be here today. But I've come here today to present a citation on behalf of the Maryland State Senate. Um, and all of us, including our Senate President, Bill Ferguson, who sends his best wishes, who couldn't be here today. And it reads, the Senate Maryland resolution be hereby known to all that the Senate of Maryland offers the sincerest congratulations to the Mother Mary Lane Catholic School in recognition of the celebration of the grand opportunity and blessing ceremony. The entire membership extends its best wishes on this memorable occasion and directs this resolution presented on the sixth day of August, 2021, William Ferguson IV, President of the Senate, the President and all members are the sponsors. This is Senate Resolution 446. I want to ask the Archbishop and the leadership here to join me really, really quickly. This is one of four schools that's being built in the 40th District here in West Baltimore this year. The only Catholic school. But uh, it's, it's an awesome occasion to be here, and thank you all so much for this opportunity. Thank you. And thank you. I'm going to borrow the senator's suit. So with a, you know, with a suit and a fro, <laughs> Tim Tootin is coming back. <laughs> i got to find my pages now. <laughs> All right. Okay. And now it is my sincerest honor to introduce the man behind the vision for the Mother Mary Lane Catholic School, the man who recognized the need for access to quality education in Baltimore City and made it a priority, please join me in welcoming the Most Reverend William E. Laurie, the 16th Archbishop of Baltimore. Tim, thank you very much, and thank you for leading us through this uh, wonderful celebration. You know, I've been preceded to the podium by a lot of powerful preachers. <laughs> I'm going to have to up my game here, I think. <laughs> One thing I've thought about for a long time is the need for us to have Mother Mary Lang, servant of God, declared a saint. Right? And we're on the road. There's progress being made. But one thing you got to have for the Pope to declare a blessed and a saint is a miracle. What do you think? I think this new school qualifies, don't you? And miracles don't just happen. They don't just fall out of the sky. God always works through people. And I'd like to recognize today a lot of the people that made this miracle possible, instruments of God's good work in our midst. I'd like to begin uh, with the greatest friend of the city and the Archdiocese of Baltimore, and that's Bishop Dennis Madden. Thank you, Bishop Dennis. And with us today are a number of my brother priests. I'd like to thank my brother priest for their commitment to the city and to the young people who live here and to our Catholic schools. Let's give our priests a round of applause. And especially words of thanks to those who carry forward 
the vision and ministry of Mother Mary Lang, and that would be Sister Rita Michelle and the Oblate Sisters of Providence. Thank you so much. I think of all the people in Baltimore, Sister Rita Michelle is in the highest demand, and for good reason. Um, there will be an Oblate Sister of Providence teaching in this new school. But that announcement, Mother, Sister Rita is saying, don't you dare say the name. <laughs> because that announcement is going to come pretty soon. But we're really grateful for your commitment. I'd also like to uh, recognize Mary Ellen Russell, who will be serving as the chair of the board, together with Sister Rita Michelle, who will be the vice chair. And uh, I want to thank you both for your great dedication to our city. Thank you. While we're talking about um, public officials that have really helped us. Um, where do I begin? I want to thank you, uh, Governor Hogan. Uh, I want to thank you because you've, not only for believing in this project, but I want to thank you because together with the General Assembly, you have been providing all these years these boost scholarships, and that those scholarships have enabled an awful lot of deserving young people to get a great education. I'd like to express our sincere thanks for that. And I'm really glad I came today, otherwise I might not have heard about that $39 million that you got. You know, as they say, uh, you gotta be present to win. I'd like to thank our mayor. Thank you. The dealing with the city on this project has been terrific whether it was acquiring the land, doing the permitting, uh, working out the zoning details, and much, much more. You and your team have been terrific. Mr. Mayor, thank you, and thank you for your leadership of our city. And my thanks to the city council. Our city council president, Nick Bosby, is here, Eric Costello, and other members of the city council uh, support all the way through this project. Uh, thank you very, very much. And also, in the same breath, I'd like to thank Senator Antonio Hayes. Thank you very, very much for partnering with us. So as I say, it takes uh, a lot of people in order to uh, make a miracle happen. And it's been said uh, before many times, but I got to say it again. I really want to thank Chancellor of Catholic Education, James Selinger. Thank you, Jim, so much. And joined at the hip with Jim is our superintendent, Donna Hargens. Thank you, Donna, for leading all of our schools so ably. And Alicia Jordan, I think you've already seen what a spark she is. And to see that she's going to be, she is the right person to lead this new school into the future. And so to you and to your team uh, and uh, to all those who will be your collaborators, thank you, congratulations, and God bless you going into the future, Alicia. Now, one of the things that makes this all seem a little miraculous to me is that when we uh, decided to do this project, and there was more than a little skepticism. In fact, the first time I presented it to my advisory bodies, they said, yeah, well, the old guy's finally taken leave of the census. <laughs> but in point of fact, um, one of the things we were able to do was to raise the money and to do it without the usual mechanisms for raising the money. There was no consultant. There was no uh, committee. There was no fundraising chairman. We just dove into it. We believed in it. And to tell you the truth, we had fun doing it. And in the process, I gained 10 pounds. It was terrific. <laughs> I'd like to mention a couple of folks, though, uh, who are 
made this possible. Jack Dwyer gave us the foundational gift. I think Nancy Clamp, you're here representing Jim. Thank you so much and give Jim our love. Without him, this would not have gotten off the ground. I'd like to thank Tim Reagan of Whiting Turner, Mary Jo and Brian Rogers, Frank and Man Maggie Bramble, Joe and Catherine Liberatore, Dr. Nancy Grasmick, Glenn Falco, Frank Kelly III, Bob Cowley, Greg Farno, and so many others. Without their generosity and belief in Catholic education, we wouldn't be standing here, and let's give them all our deep appreciation. It's one thing uh, to have the miracle worker, Mother Mary Lang, on your side, another thing to have the vision, another thing to raise the money, but a 21st century beautiful building like this doesn't just happen. So I would like to thank, uh, for, make some further thank yous. One is to Al Rubling and Jonathan Miller of JMT Architecture. Al, thank you so much. A lot of folks here today from Whiting Turner. You did a great job, and we are so grateful to you. <laughs> Lindsay Gallagher is here, and uh, she's representing for us today the Knott Foundation. Couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, Lindsay. <laughs> Matt Gallagher, in the support of the Goldsecker Foundation. Thank you, Matt, so much. Joe Haskins of Harbor Bank and Bill Struver and Tabitha Atkins of Cross Street Partners. They were really helpful. One of the key ingredients to all this was the new market tax credit investment that was made toward the construction of this school. Thank you all for guiding us through that incredibly complex process. From the beginning, our great partner has been the University of Maryland, beginning with Jay Perman and his successor, Dr. Bruce Gerald and Jim Hughes. And so I'd really like to thank um, the University of Maryland for your partnership and support. Let's give them our thanks. We have some internal people to thank. Our own Nolan McCoy who, and Matt Reagan and John Matera, who shepherded this project through along with, with Whiting Turner and JMT Architecture. Also, not surprisingly, in a project like this, there are legalities. Gallagher Avelius Jones helped us with that, thanking Tom Dane, Dave Kinkoff, Ryan Potter, Mac Matt Oakley, and Dave Ratterman. Um, I'd like to thank some of my good co-workers. Bill McCarthy of Catholic Charities gave us great loyal support, as did Bill Baird. I'm thankful to both of them. And the Baltimore Neighborhood Associations and the Southwest Partnership representatives, thank you so very much for forming a partnership with us. We hope always to be your good partners uh, going, going forward. And finally, all I can say is, yeah, this school is beautiful on the outside. It's more beautiful on the inside, but what's really going to make this school beautiful is when it's full of students. That's about to happen. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for your support. And to all of those who are here and many more who are listening and tuning in, thank you from the bottom of my heart and God bless you. Well, it's almost that time. I want to say, because I'll have all my remarks now, you know, when I pulled up, uh, I got some nice parking. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm parked right near the governor and the mayor, that big Ram truck there. I said, man, I'm somebody today. Now I'll switch hats and become Tim Tutin Education Reporter in about five minutes. <laughs> At this time, I want to certainly invite. We have to bless it first. We've got to bless. We have to bless the school. <laughs> oh, bless the school. I was in my truck. <laughs> Do I need to go back here? Oh, was that? That wasn't there, was it? See? Let's bless the school. 
Well, that sort of is my became, isn't it? I think. <laughs> so listen, dear friends, we've gathered together um, with great thanksgiving in our hearts to God uh, to ask his blessing upon the school and to make it all the things we know he wants it to be, a place of seeking and learning and teaching, a place that opens the minds and hearts of our young people to all that is good and beautiful and true. Um, the Lord moves our hearts in various ways to serve him, and I thank God he moved all of our hearts to serve these deserving students. And so we ask the blessing of the Lord, who is the way, the truth, and the life, that all who enter this place, especially our students, will know the saving love of God revealed in Jesus, and that they will um, enhance and discover and develop their human dignity and serve the Lord faithfully. And we have a reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him and began to teach them, saying, You are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a bushel basket. No, they set it on a lampstand where it gives, where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. And now let us stand and pray. Lord God, provident Father, source of all goodness and font of all blessing, we give you thanks and praise. Trusting in your providence, we seek your blessing on the Mother Mary Lang Catholic School. Bless the students who will call this school home. May they ever seek after all that is good, true, and beautiful, and discover the pathways to which you have called them. Bless their families, that they may always seek to grow together in love. Bless those you have called to work together for the building up of your kingdom through the work of Catholic education. Strengthen our educators by the power of your grace and help form the students entrusted to their care in knowledge and in virtue so that they might grow to become the men and women you have created them to be. Bless all those whose generosity has made this wonderful work possible. Allow them to see the fruits of their labors and their goodness. Father, we ask you now to send your blessing upon this school. May it be a dwelling place of your spirit and a beacon that throws forth the light of your love and truth. And may Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless all gathered here. And may God's blessing come upon this great and beautiful school in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And first I'll, I'll um, bless the outside with some holy water. If I disappear inside for a minute, I'm not going to go through. <laughs> At this time, I would like to invite Archbishop Lori. Chancellor Selinger, Dr. Hargens, Mr. Jordan, Senator Hayes, Councilman Costello, and other partners to the front to officially open Mother Main Carrots Catholic School with the ribbon cutting and the ringing of the school bell. Now, you should have a bell under your seat. So uh, find your bell. All right. Give you a chance to come to the front.
Children's Hospital. You can say it now. Right there. You, you, you want me to say it? Huh? You want me to say it? <laughs> Just at the very end. Everybody's getting together here. Kind of waiting for my cue. Hold up. <laughs> All right. Uh oh, that, I'm looking. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Somebody who's running the show. On the count of three, please raise the bells found under your seats and ring them for all to hear as we cut the ribbon to commemorate the opening of Mother Mary Lane Catholic School. Three, two, one. Ring the bell. inside on the second floor there will be refreshments thank you again for joining us today and one final word one more thing you know um, when you reach my time of life you're going to forget somebody I forgot to mention and to thank Dr. Stephen Zinn of the Maryland Children's Hospital for their wonderful collaboration thank you very much Steve okay all right not too good but that's all right let's come inside